Hey everyone, I got some uh, new, I've been getting some new DVDs, and I just wanted to go over a bunch of uh, the ones I got. Here's one of the things I got, it's a double feature of Looney Tunes, got the first volume of Looney Tunes show and Daffy Duck's Quackbusters. I've never seen Quackbusters. I have seen Looney Tunes show, this volume in particular. I'm not a fan. <laughs> Quackbusters, uh, I have no idea what to expect. Uh, the images on the back are interesting. They did the same weird thing that the actual volume of Looney Tunes show did, and they have images that aren't even on that volume. And, let's see, the disc is the exact same thing. And there's Quackbusters. And it's in one of these cheap eco boxes. I hate those. I gotta swap it out for another box. And uh, I also got these two things. Uh, Stranger Than Fiction and Reality Check. Now, uh, one... Okay, this one. Stranger Than Fiction. I did see this when I was younger, and I hated it. It's not funny. The animation is all choppy. It's really, really awkward and strange. Uh, hmm. It does have, like, a, the classic Looney Tunes look to it, which is nice. I do like the older look as opposed to the newer look like Looney Tunes show has, or Wabbit, but... Uh, yeah. <laughs> then reality check. I don't know if I saw this one or not. I think I might have, but I've completely forgotten if I did. If I did see this. Yeah, I'm looking at it and I'm not getting any memories. Like the other one, I saw the pictures and I was like, "Oh yeah, I remember this." Uh, I didn't like it. This one though, I don't know what to expect. Maybe it's good. Maybe it's bad. I have no idea. And then, this is cool, the first season of Star Trek Enterprise on Blu-ray. Unfortunately, I gotta swap the box out, because it's, uh, uh, really, like, it's cracking apart. I taped it up, but even then, it's got, like, a, oh, oh, oh boy, it's falling apart again. <laughs> yeah, the, it looked really nice, like, and it was only eight bucks, so I was like, oh, awesome. So I picked it up, uh, opened it up, and then the back just pfft, falls right off. Oh, you can see, uh, oh, the tape wore off there. Yeah. So that's the issue I have uh, with this. I have to get a new box off eBay. Hmm. But, yeah, I've never seen much of Enterprise. I've seen a few episodes here and there. They were okay. I I definitely prefer it far, far over uh, Discovery or Lower Decks or even Picard. And I liked Picard. Picard was pretty fun. But yeah, I, I'm kind of excited to see Enterprise. Uh, yeah. I've heard like some fans like uh, in retrospect with the new series, they're liking, they're appreciating Enter Enterprise a bit more because Discovery is just... Uh, like, it's okay at times, but it is, like, nowhere near what Star Trek fans wanted. Same with Lower Decks. I was really excited for Lower Decks, and I was so disappointed with it. There is a, a DVD Blu-ray coming out of it. If I get that, I'll do a, I'll watch through it, and I'll do a video on that, I guess. And I went to the thrift store, and I, uh, Star Wars Episode Two: Attack of the Clones, widescreen. Uh, I have the tape of this lying around somewhere. I'm not a big fan of Episode 2. It's my least favorite of uh, of the of the prequel movies. Episode 1, I have like a nostalgic love for because I saw it when I was a kid. Oh, got a nice little booklet in there. Got nice images of the characters. And there's a... What is this? Explore the saga from the beginning. Okay, it's just a, com a commercial postcard for episode one. That's weird. So anyway, episode one I saw when I was a kid, and it's it's a kid's movie, so of course I liked it. And I watched it recently, and I was surprised, like, wow, it's like really like a kid's type of movie. Uh, episode two we didn't see in the theaters. Uh, we didn't get it until quite a while later. I think we rented it from Video King or something. I wasn't really that into it. I didn't care for it. It, yeah, it's... Eh. As an adult, I, I kind of like some of it. Oh, there's a address I just noticed on the back there. Throw that away. 
<laughs> yeah. So yeah, episode two. At least it's in widescreen, which is nice. And I did uh, rent the DVD before from the library, and I watched the commentary track, and there was some interesting stuff in there. So it's nice to have it for that, I guess. Okay, now this is something cool. I'm going to do a solo video on this. The French Bioman Complete Series DVD set. This is really cool. Because, like, I've wanted to find some more Sentai DVDs. And here we got an official Western release of, like, an old Showa-era Sentai series. That's incredible. Uh, I held off on getting this initially because Shout Factory was going backwards. Uh, they did Jetman, and they were going to do Five Man, but then everything fell through and they stopped doing Sentai altogether, unfortunately. So, yeah. I kept thinking that, oh, well, they're going to do the older Sentais, so I don't need to get the French version. And I already have, like, a bootleg Bioman DVD lying around somewhere with English subtitles. This has no English subtitles. Uh, there's French subtitles. I don't know French that well. Uh, I can get, like, the gist of it. I'm not good with French. But, yeah. Eventually, I'll do a video all about that DVD. There's some really interesting things with it. And then I also got, oh, another Looney Tunes thing. Duck Dodgers Season 2. This happened to be on sale, so I picked that up. I've never seen the Duck Dodgers series. I've seen the old original, like, um, the short shorts of Duck Dodgers, but I've never seen the actual series that he got. I watched the first few episodes, and it's okay. Nothing amazing. It's fine. Like, it. It's pretty typical of, like, the uh, the half-hour format Looney Tunes shows that they were doing in the 90s. It's a little slower. Not my favorite. I like Tasmania better, but, uh, yeah. I haven't watched all of it yet. Maybe the later episodes are really good. Who knows? Anyway. Uh, another thing I picked up, Ghostbusters Prime Evil. I remember seeing this in Walmart. I thought it was a movie. I thought they had given, like, the Filmation Ghostbusters their own movie, but I think it's actually, like, just a compilation of episodes. Let's see, eight Ghostbusting Adventures, 175 minutes. So, yeah, that's probably just a compilation of episodes from the Filmation Ghostbusters series. Oh, and it's one of those dumb eco boxes. I hate that. <laughs> but, anyway, yeah, I like the Filmation Ghostbusters, so, yeah, I'll give that a watch sometime. And last up for now, I have uh, Thundercats, the complete series. I Let's see, I had uh, the first three of the individual box set volumes, then Season 2, Volume 2. I could not find it anywhere. Only recently did it go down in price, and I'm thinking it's because of this. It goes for about the same price as this. But it's really thin. Like, even thinner than the like original single volumes. So... I figured I'd get this and save on some space. I could trade in my old DVDs. Actually, I thought about swapping the DVDs in this one for the DVDs in that one. But uh, actually, the DVDs, there's less DVDs, which is we I was not expecting that because it has all the same bonus features. Oh, and here's a, an, an annoying thing. Oh, <laughs> there's nothing holding this thing in. Yeah, it's one of those where, yeah, it just sits in there. There is a booklet with some really, really nice artwork. Let's see, the episode list, uh, what's on what discs. All the bonus features are listed. Anyway, it's kind of weird. I'm wondering why they have such a little tiny floppy book, and it just sits in there. There's nowhere for it to go. I'm wondering, why didn't they have, like, what the Power Ranger DVDs did? They, there's the box set with the DVDs, the DVDs go in, and then there's, like, a space for the booklet. They should have had, like, a big booklet. Ah, well, who knows. But anyway, I haven't watched uh, any of this yet. I don't know if the quality is worse or not. Hmm. Maybe that was the trade-off? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what the story is. I tried looking up reviews of this on Amazon... And all I could find was just uh, when the complete series Blu-ray of the 2011 Thundercats came out. Or, or no, I know, it was when this came out. Uh, Amazon listed the 2011 complete series Blu-ray, and people, like, they thought it was the same thing. So they went and bought the Blu-ray, got the 2011 series. 
Or some people went to get the 2011 series and they got this. Everybody seemed happy, though. <laughs> like, people who got the 2011 one uh, were like, oh, this was actually pretty nice. And the people who got this one were like, oh, I've never seen the original. It was really cool. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I don't think there's a Blu-ray of Thundercats yet. Maybe Germany has one. But anyway, yeah. Uh, it'd be, you know, it'd be really cool if they did a, a big box set of all of Thundercats. All of this. All the 2011 cartoon. Maybe stick Roar in there because, uh, I don't know if Roar would sell individually. Like, having it in a complete set might be the only way to get that out at all. Who knows? Anyway, there's a bunch of the new DVDs I got. I hope you enjoyed this. See ya.